It is a problem here in Lubbock. Um, and unfortunately, it, it can be a friend, a family, or your neighbor. Human trafficking is not a new issue here, sadly, but it affects more people than you might think. Good evening, everybody. I'm Brian Mudd. I'm Lauren Motter. Lubbock police have been warning us for years that human trafficking is a huge problem here in the Hub City. But while it's not new for officers, they're getting some helpful tips from a new place you might not expect. KMEX Laura Lawhead shows us. Brian and Lauren, I spoke to LPD today who says it handles about 30 to 50 human trafficking cases every year. That's on par with big cities like Houston and Dallas. But recently, they've been able to identify trafficking victims thanks to local Uber and Lyft drivers who spotted them when they were riding as passengers in their cars. Human trafficking has been going on since the dawn of time. You have a person that's willing to pay for sex, you're going to have human trafficking. It's called modern day slavery and it's happening right here on the South Plains. The detective who spearheads LPD's special human trafficking operation says it's still a very serious issue across West Texas. To show you just how serious, we can't reveal his face because of the covert nature of the operation. So they can be recruited, groomed, and trafficked here in Lubbock and not ever leave the city limits. But in the last few months, LPD has received a number of tips from Uber and Lyft drivers. The tips helped police identify and save victims of trafficking. They're trying to look for uh, unaccompanied minors, um, third parties paying for the travel from one place to another. Uber and Lyft are now training drivers to watch out for passengers who may be victims of abuse. Signs like teens traveling from hotel to hotel or to unsafe areas. The detective says traffickers often use ride shares to transport victims. I think as drivers uh, complete their training and are able to recognize the reality of these situations, it'll get they'll get better. He also encourages families to watch out for the signs too. Often, it's a sudden personality change, which can mirror the signs of domestic violence. If the person is normally somewhat depressed or not confident, and then they get into a relationship and they have an excessive amount of confidence, or vice versa, they get in, they have a lot of confidence and they're very daring and. And they get into a relationship and, and then they become pretty meek and mild. Traffickers prey on vulnerabilities and the manipulation can start as simple as love and affection. Grooming can be anything from small gifts to, uh, to shelter to food. You know, it just depends on that person's vulnerabilities. The detective says if you see signs like this in your child or someone you know, talk to them and try to get to the bottom of when it started. He says the level of brainwashing and manipulation can be shocking. And the key to a victim's recovery is love and support from their family and professional counseling. Now you can find links to help over on our website, everythinglubbock.com, by the end of this newscast.